this is the battery. Uh, taking it apart is quite simple. You just remove uh, four of these screws over here, over there, over there and over there with a simple screwdriver. Then with a sharp knife you lift up these things on one side then lift this out and then you can do the same thing at the other side. Lift these up and you can take it off. Then you have uh, this part below then you have this part below that you can pull out and then disconnect by pushing this part then you can pull this out and uh, after that you can unscrew the contacts that are in this small box and uh, you really have to note uh, where is the red lead in the box, the blue lead and the black lead and otherwise I will show you that in this video. Once you have uh, removed this, these contacts uh, you can note that uh, the nickel, these are nickel plated copper contacts, that the nickel has been scratched off by all the movement of the battery in the housing. The main reason is that the distance between these contacts the distance became too big, became too large. So what I did after very well cleaning all the surfaces and I pushed the screwdriver in there and another screwdriver in there and wedged wedged these lips towards, towards each other. So now the distance has become minimal which means that, that these contacts clamp much better on the, uh, on the contacts uh, on the bike. So you need to mount it like this and then it's covered with this cover. I will treat uh, the contacts with some Vaseline Protect Spray that will prevent the oxidation of the copper. After having uh, reconnected you can push this in place and you are ready to close the battery. I just got the speed sensor, which is a reed switch, and I will mount it on the bike, and then I hope the OL warning on my display problem is solved.
ik hem uh, hier terug kan trekken. Ik heb het hele spul nu in heel lang proces bewijs.